Hey everybody, it's Kevin Van Ord here, and I'm sitting with Sean McInnes, who just recently had a chance to look at the upcoming Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag DLC called Freedom Cry. Sean, what what's this DLC all about? Well, the DLC stars Adewale, who is a character, if you read my review of Assassin's Creed 4, which I'm pretty sure that you did. Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty sure that you did. Uh, you'll note that I lamented the fact that uh, Adewale was a really interesting character in that game, and his story was something I would like to have seen covered a little bit more, because the game kind of danced around the more serious themes of the era, slavery, um, and it kind of... It, it, lightly touched on those, but it kind of brushed over them in the grand scope of things. Right. Uh, so this DLC, what I like about it is it's, it's entirely focused on Ottawale. Um, I played about an hour or so of the DLC. It's Ubisoft claims it's about four hours long, but then again, it is an open world game, so it's probably as, as long as you want it to be with all those side missions and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's set 15 years after Assassin's Creed 4. I'm not going to spoil what happens at the end of Assassin's Creed 4, but uh, Adewale has sort of like he's moved on to uh, to Haiti, and at the beginning of the DLC, he is kind of like shipwrecked. He winds up in Haiti, and he's trying to assemble a crew and find a ship, and he does that by freeing slaves in Port-au-Prince. Um, and that's one of the interesting gameplay mechanics in the game is that. You remember in Assassin's Creed 4 when Edward is trying to flesh out his crew and he finds like these pirates sure. around the cities and he kind of like rescues pirates who are caught and like going to jail or that type of thing. Uh, in Freedom Cry, you actually do that with slaves. So you can go up to like uh, the selling block where they're actually selling slaves and you can, if you've got money, you can buy them and just free them on the spot and say, hey, you want to join my crew? Or my preferred technique, just take out the guy selling them kill all his guards, and you don't have to spend a dime. It's great. Huh. Um, and other things you do is uh, you walk around, they're the guys who are like being, um, they're, they're in chains and they're being escorted around the city. Just kill the guards, free, the, free them right there. Um, and you can go to like the slave plantations and uh, kind of like sneak around, take out the guards and everything like that. So it's, it's a pretty interesting subject matter. I didn't get to see a lot of story cinematics, so I don't know how delicately it handles the, the subject, because obviously you have to be pretty careful when it's something as heavy as slavery, right? Sure. Um, but I do, I really enjoyed Adewale as a character in the main game. I'm really happy to see that he's getting uh, some spotlight here, and whether or not Ubisoft can handle it in a way that does justice to the subject matter remains to be seen, obviously, but I'm very intrigued by the focus of this. Is playing out of Wale very much like playing any other Assassin's Creed character? Yeah, I mean, he moves, he runs and jumps just as effortlessly as Edward, just as much as Ezio, any Assassin's Creed character that's come before him. You know, it moves very much like an Assassin's Creed game. He does have a few unique weapons. He's got this big, brutal machete, um, and he's also got a blunderbuss, which is sort of a forebear to the shotgun. Right. And it only works within about four or five feet of your enemies. But if you walk up to a group of like four guards, you can take out all four of them in a single shot, which you probably need to do because you only have one shot before you have to reload that thing and it takes a little while. That sounds pretty awesome though. Yeah, so it's a it's a very different type of experience, but it's, it's fun. Um, and eventually he does, you know, spoilers, he does get his own ship. And so you, you um, you sail the Caribbean, you find slave trader ships, and you take out the crew there, and you free the slaves, and you kind of flesh out your crew, and you collect the supplies, and you can build up your ship just as Edward did. Um, all the different sort of component parts, the armor, the weapons, the amount of ammo you can carry. So it's got that whole progression system in there as well. Sean, thanks for sitting down with me. Is there anything else you think we should know that we didn't touch on today? Uh, one thing that I think bears mentioning, it's such a small thing, but it's it's something that I noticed. No new sea shanties for Ottawa's crew. Which, I, I mean, for me, that was like one of my favorite things about Assassin's Creed 4. 
Um, so that's a little bit disappointing, but uh, but who knows? Maybe uh, that'll be the next DLC. Maybe the next DLC after this will be all about sea shanties. It could be, or I could just go and sing you a sea shanty right now after we're done with this. If you that, like. that works too. Excellent. Well, Sean, thanks for telling us about Freedom Cry. We will be seeing that next week, and you should look for a review soon on GameSpot as well. And uh, I guess we will see everybody out there very soon. Thanks a lot, Sean. Thank you.